Hi YouTube, my name's Drew and you're watching Drew's Obsessions. This is video six in my Movember project series where I do a video every single day for the month of Movember. Over the course of this month, I will be doing reviews on different cool products, giving you guys tips for growing your mustache and your beard and your hair faster, and also just talking about my other obsessions and sharing those with you guys. If you subscribe to my channel, you'll know that I've done quite a few do-it-yourself haircut videos before, and uh, this is one of my obsessions. I just like to cut my own hair. I don't bother going and spending money at the barber to get it done because half the time I don't I'm not happy with the results, so I do it myself. I'm almost always happy. If I'm not perfectly happy, well, then I know that it was free and it only took me about half an hour to do. So today I'm gonna to show you guys a little bit more in depth of how I do my haircuts. Uh, I'm gonna to try to make it a speedy video because you guys, a lot of you have seen things like this before, uh, but I just really wanna showcase how easy it is to cut your own hair and how you can avoid all of those long lineups, the drives to the barbers, and all that extra money that you could be saving. Now it is extremely easy to do your own basic haircut and it is next to impossible to mess it up. Even if you do miss a spot, it's very, very hard to uh, get caught on that. So might as well give it a shot. First things first, you're gonna need a few things. Uh, one being obviously the hair trimmer. You can pick one up at Walmart for 20 bucks or anywhere. Uh, the higher you go, the better quality they are, obviously. This one I paid 20 bucks for and uh, it works, but it's a little bit noisy and it just feels kind of cheapy, so you might want to go for a slightly higher build if you're going to be keeping this for a long time. I'm going to be using two different guards for this video, uh, which makes it kind of more of a beginner to intermediate haircut. A beginner, a true beginner would be just to, you say, use a one inch guard, and then just to kind of buzz your whole head almost like a, like a buzz cut. Um, but in this case, we're going to do two different uh, levels of length here. We're going to do short, I'm going to do half an inch on the sides, and I'm going to do an inch on the top. Uh, first things first, if you're doing this outside, you don't need to worry about this stuff, but if you are inside, you might want to seriously consider purchasing a beard bib. Uh, I got this from Beard King, and it saves me a ton of time in the cleanup stage. Basically, all you do is you suction it to the uh, mirror, and it collects all of the hair that comes off your head. All right, I've got my one inch guard. I'm gonna do this first. I'm gonna do the entire head. The sides are less than one inch, so they're not gonna be touched. And then that's gonna give me a better visibility line for when I do do these sides that are a bit shorter. And a big tip is you might wanna wet your hair a little bit first so it catches a little easier. Okay, my hair is all wet. I've just finished buzzing my hair. I've got it all about the same length, all about a one inch uh, length on the top. The sides are a little shorter and therefore weren't touched during this process. Uh, I don't even mind this look really. It's uh, a little military for me, but I still don't mind it. I'm still gonna do the sides at a half an inch because that's what I said I was going to do. But if you like this look and you just wanna know how to trim up your sideburns and do a few extra little touch-ups, then you can just kind of fast forward to the end of this video and uh, check that out. But in the meantime, let's get started on the sides. This is all the hair that I've collected from the top of my head. Thank goodness for this beard bit. I'm onto the half inch here. Now as I do the back of my head, I make sure to kind of stop right around the crown. So as I go up, as I get to the top right where my crown is, or right where the peak kind of of your head is, I start to kind of just pull the, the buzzer away from my head a little bit so that it tapers it and doesn't look like a dramatic stop. I just kind of bring it up and over top. Again, it's not you know, rocket science here. It doesn't have to look perfect um, and people won't notice it. So just kind of, as you do it, just kind of release it so that you're not actually gonna bring it all the way up to the top of your head too. Now, if you wanna get a little bit more professional and as you get up to this line here, you start to keep, first of all, keep the uh, guard as close as you can to your head, all the way going up. And as you get to that line, you're gonna notice that the top part here is a little bit longer than the sides, you're going to want to kind of bring it away from your head. Like I'll do it slowly here. So it's, you're up close, 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 close. And as you get to that line that you want to blend a little better, start to kind of almost break your wrist ever so slightly and kind of flick it so that it kind of gets the edges a little better. Okay, so I'm totally finished now. I've done the sides, I've done the top. I really like the results. Uh, I feel like this is just as good as any barber would do, if not better, because I was able to do it myself and I was able to kind of figure out how the length I wanted it myself. So I'm gonna take the scissors, I'm going to trim my sideburns just uh, evenly here. I'm also going to go around my ear and I'm going to pull this down. I'm going to trim around the sides here and then we'll be done.
there we go guys totally showered totally done finished up uh, I think it looks pretty good it's a little short for my taste usually but uh, it's been a really long time since I've had it actually this short but I still like it and give it a couple days and it'll be perfect don't forget to check out my uh, video from yesterday it's the ASDM Beverly Hills uh, review of their oils and different products because I'm having a contest right now so by the end of November I will pick four of my subscribers that have entered into my contest. You can check out the details in yesterday's video and for your chance to win uh, your very own beard oil. Thanks for watching you guys and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you tomorrow.